Hey guys, it's Erica Parker. Today I want to talk to you about some tips on how to handle your meetings with your new construction home builder. First, I want to talk about the first meeting that you're going to have with your home builder after you've gone under contract. The first one is going to be your pre-construction home meeting. This is where y'all talk about the layout of the home that you've picked, the floor plan you've picked, and how it's going to look. Understand the way that it's going to be situated on the lot. I know a lot of tears have been shed with people finding out that the sun is going to be streaming in through their windows on the east side because the house wouldn't fit on the lot where the house, where the windows were on the west side. So know where your house is going to be on the lot, how it's going to be oriented, and how it's going to affect the sunlight in your windows, definitely. Next, this is the stage where you're going to want to make all of your structural upgrades. Now I've talked about different upgrades in the past, but just so you know, those structural upgrades are going to be anything, any kind of bump outs, any kind of larger windows that you might want, um, any extra windows you might want to put in, an additional car garage if it was only supposed to have two, putting in a third. This is also a spot where you might want to change that formal dining into an extra bedroom downstairs. That's a very cost effective area that you can spend your money if you're looking for a downstairs bedroom. If you uh, have in-laws to come and visit and you don't want to have to have them climb the stairs or if you are planning to start a family and you want a nursery downstairs near you and you don't, the floor plan that you have doesn't plan for a bedroom downstairs, that's a very cost effective place to put your money to create another bedroom. Another place is this formal sitting area. That's another place that you can change into a bedroom or even a study so that you can spend your money. A lot of people prefer an in-home office nowadays with COVID and having to work from home more often. It's definitely a place that you want to spend your money and it's a cost effective way to do it. Another thing to, to plan in this pre-construction meeting is any kind of additional plumbing that you might need. If you're planning on putting in a half bath or if you're planning on putting in another bath in the future, making sure that you're plumbed to do that. So that's gonna be something that you're gonna bring up now. Anytime, any electrical that you want to put into the house, any additional electrical that you want in the house, including any floor electrical that might have to go and be piped through the foundation, that's gonna be something that you wanna make sure is addressed in this pre-construction meeting. In addition, one of the things that you wanna address is also the elevation of your home. That means the outside front facade of your home, or even all sides of the home, but it's the outside of the home and what it looks like. Now, a lot of times builders, especially track home builders, I know they don't like that being that term, but basically what you call a builder that's gonna offer you four or five plans will also offer you two to three elevation types for each of those plans. And what that means is, you know, you might have the base plan, which is hardy board siding and maybe a little bit of brick on the front. And then the second level plan has some rock and brick in the front and the hardy board siding on the sides and the, and the back. And the third option might be that it has you know, the nicer brick, the nicer rock on the front or uh, shutters and, and another window or something like that, or maybe a front porch. So those are gonna be the different levels of uh, elevation that you're going to see on the house that are going to be options. That's gonna be a time that you want to address the elevation. And if you have to pick your brick, I would recommend going ahead and taking your top choices, maybe it's three or four, and asking the builder to give you a place where you can go see it on a house. So if it's already in the neighborhood, then great. Tell me where those houses are. We'll drive by them so you can see them on a bigger scale. If they're not in the neighborhood, then give me a picture of them or give me a place that I can go find them at one of your previous properties. That's gonna be something that you want to ask your builder to provide. It's hard to sometimes visualize brick based on a, even a, you know, a three foot by three foot piece. It's hard to visualize that on a whole house. And you really wanna be happy 
with what the outside looks like. Now, I will say that elevation is not necessarily going to get you a large return on investment, but it is going to add to your curb appeal, which could help you sell faster, but it may not add a lot of equity to your house. The next meeting I want to talk about is the showroom meeting. I did mention in a previous video that if you have two or more meetings, I highly recommend being able to utilize those in a very specific way. In your first meeting, I recommend that you go ahead and you get everything you can, all the upgrades that you want priced out. And I, I don't want you to hold back. I want you to ask for all of the things that you could possibly want in upgrades and getting them priced out by the builder. And the point of this is, is for you to understand what your options are in pricing and also to understand what it could cost and going to get it priced out by Home Depot or another contractor or floor and decor and getting the labor done by someone else. Just understanding what it's gonna cost by getting it done by the builder and what it might cost if you get it done after the fact. So that is something that I highly recommend in the first meeting is getting everything priced out. Then in your second meeting, you can start talking about which things you actually wanna have done in the home at the time uh, before closing. So that's going to be something that I do recommend is having at least two meetings with the showroom and getting those things itemized out and priced out for yourself. Again, in this specific meeting, this is where you're going to talk about all the design upgrades that you want. And again, I've talked about the upgrades of where you want to put your money and where you don't necessarily want to put your money through this design studio. So go back and take a look at my previous video on the do's and don'ts of where you want to put your money for upgrades. Thank you guys for joining me. If you found this video helpful on what to expect in the meetings for your new construction home with your home builder, Go ahead and like this video below and click that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more information about new construction homes and resale homes and what to be prepared for in those type of situations, go ahead and subscribe to and click that bell. It'll give you an update every time I drop a video. Thank you and have a great day. See you soon.